There is a lot of reasons your chickens might have a stopped rain, but do not panic because this can be corrected. In today's video, I am going to discuss with you the most common causes uh, or reasons why your rare chicken egg production has decreased or completely ceased or stopped. I am also going to give you every remedy to what may cause uh, your chicken and not to lay. Therefore, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video. Also, make sure that you hit the like button because that is very helpful to our channel and if you have any question or suggestion make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section below among the most common causes of decreased egg production in layer birds, number one is the diet. Diet can influence laying in very many ways. Your layer birds may lack to lay eggs if, number one, you provide insufficient amount of feeds. It is quite obvious that hungry chicken cannot lay eggs to their maximum. Number two about diet is poor nutritional composition. In the chick, If the chicken lack the required amount of proteins and minerals and also other important nutrients that are very essential in egg formation then this will lead to a decreased egg production therefore you should check if the supplier is supplying quality feeds if you are formulating your own feeds make sure that you are incorporating all the nutrients that are needed so that you can avoid feeding your chickens low quality feeds to your chickens number three about diet is the water availability. Water should be available to chickens ad libitum. Ad libitum meaning as free choice. Chickens should be able to have access to water all the time. This is because especially the layer chicken will utilize this water in egg formation processes. Another aspect about diet that affect egg production negatively is the abrupt change of feeds. Uh, when you don't change feeds gradually, this causes stress to layers as they try to adapt to the new feed that you are trying to introduce. Therefore, uh, this can cause decreased decrease in egg laying make sure that when you are changing feed or when you are changing suppliers you do it uh, gradually if you do it immediately or at once this will affect or bring down the rate of rain another thing is that be mindful of the supplements that you are giving to your uh, to your chickens make sure that the supplements that you are giving to the birds are compatible with their diet and to the drugs that you may be using in your chicken farm for example uh, the vaccines. Make sure that you contact a vet or a poultry feed expert so that they can explain to you uh, if the supplement can be used uh, in the chicken during that specific period. Otherwise, you will find that this supplement will interact with the nutrients in the feeds and this will lead to low availability of nutrients in the digestive system for the birds to utilize and become productive. The number two thing that uh, that affect laying is the lighting. Laying in layer chicken, whether for the commercial birds or the indigenous layer chicken, is greatly affected by the lighting program you adapt to. Light acts as a stimuli to the pituitary glands of the hen, uh, which release or produce hormones that are required in egg production. A regular egg laying chicken requires 14 to 16 hours of light. Anything lower than that uh, will cause decreased egg laying. I have come across cases whereby you find farmers mostly in the rural areas. They lock their chickens up, especially during the seasons for planting or when the plants are young. And you find that the the farmers will always be complaining of low uh, laying percentages and this is because in the coops that the chickens are being locked up there is no light and this will greatly affect laying. The third thing is about broodiness. Broodiness is the natural maternal instinct of every hen or any hen to sit on eggs. It is usually embedded in their DNA, although in the layers that of especially the commercial layers, this gene have be, been uh, bred 
spread out therefore making commercial layers not to be to, not to become broody you find that during brooding the hen does not ray if one hen goes broody in the flock this may influence others uh, to also have the same behavior therefore if you identify a broody hen make sure that you isolate that hen and put it in a separate room that have a bare floor and that have no place where this bird can go and sit and through this way this bird will be able to get over that behavior and now you can bring it back into the other flock number four is about molting molting is the natural process of feather shedding and regrowth in layer chicken during this stage the chicken divert nutrients mineral protein and energy into feather growth therefore egg production decreases or even stops and the best thing to do during this period is to feed the chicken with feeds that have extra proteins make sure that you add extra proteins or you increase the amount of protein in the chicken feed this will greatly help to support faster feather regrowth therefore leading to the return of the egg laying days the fifth thing is about stress stress may be caused by number one changing of feeds that is the abrupt changing of feeds that i have talked about and now Number two is about noise. Uh, laying birds do not lay properly under noise pollution. Therefore, make sure that you avoid unnecessary noises in the farm. The third thing is about irritation from parasites. Uh, this is another thing that will cause stress because these internal or even the external parasites will cause irritation to the chicken. Make sure that you deworm your birds and spray insecticide or pesticide in the coops uh, so that you can be able to eliminate these parasites and eliminate stress in your rear chicken which may be causing the egg decrease also another thing that may cause stress is uh, environmental stresses these environmental stresses may come for example during the hot weather periods the chicken may be facing uh, the heat stress therefore make sure that you find a way that uh, the ventilation will be sufficient so that fresh air can be able to flow through the chicken coop and this will help to lower the heat stress the other thing that, that can affect laying of your birds is reproductive dysfunctions or the reproductive abnormalities these are problems with the reproductive organs of the hen and when they occur, and when they occur uh, they can affect a laying. this can be caused by majorly the diseases also you find that some drugs also affect the reproductive system uh, of the birds and this will affect rain another important thing that can affect the reproductive uh, tract or the reproductive system of the chickens therefore affecting egg laying is excess fat accumulation on the reproductive organs of the hens this can be corrected by making sure that the fat content in the in the feeds of the chickens is at, is of the correct amounts also you should avoid overfeeding the chicken make sure that you give the right proportion to each and every hen because uh, excess feeds will cause obesity also as a way of dealing with obesity, make sure that uh, you free range your birds. For example, the layers that are in, in the depleter system, through this uh, free ranging, they can be able to exercise and burn out uh, the fats that could be accumulating in the body. And this way you are going to eliminate obesity in your layer chicken, which may be affecting egg production in your farm. Make sure that you hit uh, the video on the screen right now so that you can be able to know what to do before formulating your own chicken feeds.